I am alone. Finally, alone. This is the ultimate moment, the moment of truth. Act 3, Massenet's opera Manon. The Chevalier de Grieux has decided to become a priest and give up on love and life as it was meant for him, a noble man. Why? Because Manon has betrayed him. She has left him for another man who could afford her the life of luxury that she craves. So he decided to let all of that go. He's at the church of Saint-Sulpice and wants to become a priest. And this aria is about the conflict between the two forces, earthly love or the love for God. Will he succeed? Oh, it's hard. It's tearing at his heart. But he's trying very hard. You see how he makes himself very docile, very kind, pleading. The only thing left for me in life is to find the sacred peace that only faith can offer me. He's trying to hypnotize himself. He's trying to convince himself that this is the only way for him now. Yes, he says. I've made up my mind. I've trying, I'm trying to put God between the world and myself, and the note reaches up pleading, hoping that it's going to work out. But what's that? There is the image, the image, the tender image of Manon haunting him. Free, he says, go away, get away. Please, respect my decision, respect this quiet peace that I'm trying to gain even though it's so cruel and I worked so hard of myself to let go of your image. Can't you respect that? Can't you leave me alone? Think, consider that if I have been drinking from this bitter cup the bitter cup of disappointment. I vow that I will refill it. I will refill this cup with the blood of my bleeding heart. I will replace the bitter teardrops of disappointment with my own blood. He's trying to be like Jesus. It's not working. The image is too strong and he's appealing to it with all his might. Free, get away, far, far from me. But you know how it is. The more you conjure the image, the stronger it gets. And where is it? Is it really out there? No, it's right there. It's right there in his heart, which is why it won't go away. And that is why he has a fit. If it's not working, he's throwing up his arms. Damn it! Damn it! What is life to me? What is life and glory to me? I don't care. I don't care. He has a threat like a teenager. He's putting his foot down. Damn it! There's nothing out there for me. There's nothing out there for me. I don't care about life. I don't care about glory. I don't care about my family's name. I'm done with it. I only want to chase from deep from my heart this damn name that I'm obsessed with. He has just damned her name. so obsessed with it. Why am I so obsessed with it? Because I still love her. I still love 
the name and the image. Maybe the church will come to his help. There he comes. Kneel down and pray. See how the tone changes? He becomes like a little boy, like an innocent little boy, reaching up to, dear God Almighty, I'm going to be a good boy. I promise. I promise. This is what I ask you for. Please, with your flame, purify my soul and chase with your light this shadow that is still in the bottom of my soul. Can I be illuminated by your light? No! The light that illuminates me like the sun is not the image of God. It's still the image of Manu. And he's appealing to it. And it's so strong that he's burning with desire. Far from me, go away from me. Go away, far. But you know how it is, the more you're trying to chase it away, the more you're trying to tell it to go away, the stronger it becomes. And the music, the words tell us, go away, he sings. But the music says that it's actually coming closer. It's closer and stronger. But here at the end, maybe he's managing to make the light get smaller as the music closes in on him and it's like the sun is shrinking to a star it moves away so maybe maybe he's going to succeed with sadness he's reaching out to it there it goes it's going away it's going away but i don't really want it to go away star. Can he let it go? Can he? See, that is the conflict, the essential conflict of the romantic novels of the 19th century that an opera like Manon is based on. For men, it's the conflict between duty and honor and passion and love. And for the women, it's the conflict between the survival instinct and the passion of love. And they can never really be completely reconciled. That's why it usually ends tragically.